We have a tremendous faith in the capacity of university researchers to change the world, but there's a final mile problem. Between the university invention, discovery, and the benefit to society, there is a step that's required, which is commercialization. And it used to be that that was done on the back of the venture capital industry, but many ideas were not sufficiently mature to attract their investment, and that industry has receded largely from the doorstep of the university. So we needed to solve that problem. We needed to lower the barrier between great discoveries and great impact to society, and this is exactly how we're doing it. This is our garage, keying off that old idea that two young guys could go into a real garage and create an iconic company. In biology, it doesn't work quite so well to do biological experiments in a real garage. So we created this laboratory space where we can rent a single bench to a former graduate student or postdoc to take the idea out of the lab to create a company. I hate to say this, but when we started, many people thought this was a quixotic dream. It was a waste of time. It would be an intensive care unit for small companies. And in the five, six years since we started, there have now been 60 companies that have passed through our family of incubators. And those companies have gone on to do great things. They've raised over $230 million in financing, both from SBIR and private sources, and they've hired over 300 people. It's a huge success. One of the interesting things about the companies that have been in this space is how diverse the technologies have been. People think of us as a therapeutics-driven research institution, but our researchers are working on areas all the way from biomaterials. There's a small room in across the hall that has spiders in it where people are developing new biomaterials. That could be sutures, they could be new bulletproof vests, or it could be dresses in, in Paris. At the other end of the spectrum, we have researchers who have very promising technologies for enhancing radiation therapy in the very next bay, and they're developing a protein therapeutic that could greatly impact cancer patient treatment. So that's the spectrum that we get to deal with, and it's a, it's a very exciting place to sit. The company is founded around technology that was invented in Dr. Frank Zoka's lab at UCSF in the School of Pharmacy. And it's a, a way of targeting uh, nanoparticles to uh, cancer stem cells. And these nanoparticles will contain a high load of drug molecule and so it's a way of efficiently getting more drug to cancer stem cells with the thought of having a more efficacious uh, cancer treatment. This is uh, more economical in the sense that you don't have to lease a 5,000 square foot suite and then get all the facilities in like water, gas, electricity, all those things you can rent a very fairly small amount of lab space, and do what you need to do, get to the proof of concept and then move from there. And it's also very advantageous instead of being isolated as a small company, we do have peers within this group that we can uh, collaborate with or even just uh, have conversations with about different scientific aspects. So that's a lot better than being isolated alone in an office park, um, which is what commonly happens with a small company.